there, fellow watchers of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, starring your host, Crunchbite11. That was kind of an awkward opening. By the way, it's a Pokeball for those who were watching last time. Now I'm heading back into Jubilife City to meet the looker. I guess. Tell me, have you not obtained the PAL pad? It is not pal, a PAL pad free to anyone visiting a Pokemon Center base bit. Anyway, it appears no one shading Jubilee City. Therefore, I should take my investigation elsewhere. My friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown ups. Okay. Notice that also, like, there's been a little saxophone added for night for Jubilee City. Like, listen. As opposed to what they have during the day, which is basically just the background playing without the sax. Or what you could call a sax, basically. I'm supposed to head down here, apparently. I got a towel pad. I can't use the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection because this is an emulator. So, I'll just have to go do else things. Like, uh, I don't know. Find some friends. I don't know. Ba find some villains to battle. Oh, what do you know? Now, 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 Professor Owen. You must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for, for your assistant. Ah, Crunch, how is your Pokedex predicting? Hmm? Is that the Orberg Gym Badge, I see? But I haven't given you your first Pokemon. But I had only given you your first Pokemon recently. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, you must, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. We are saying, what we are saying, we demand you comply to our demands. Quiet, you lot. Must, why must you be such a nuisance? Let me let this some lessons you still need to learn. One, don't loiter around for no good reason. Two, do not interrupt your, while others while you're attempting to converse. Three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice and start be intimidating. Four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Five, what is those, what is those outlandish outfits you have on? My goodness, you call yourself adults. You kids don't grow up like these sorry specimens. Yeah, you had to make this personal. You've now forced the hand into making a show of force. We'll make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs the lessons in civility, please. Crunch, let's battle together. More music I like. Okay, that's enough for that. Besides, you can still hear it in the background.
right, that's enough of that music. We have no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. The Pokemon involved, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it is a mystic power far beyond our control. Team Galactic seems to be studying that power potential. If you want to know if it can be used as they want to know if we can be used to some sort of energy for something. Crunch, did you know the Professor studies evolution of Pokemon Q? According to his research, ninety percent of Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Maybe that's because the, the reason for those people trying to make them take Professor Fisher's data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over now, so you can relax. Now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Crunch, kudos for your battling skills. You got me thinking, why don't you try to collect all the gym badges in Shino, Sino? Doing so, you might be able to counter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokemon pages will continuously fill up. In other words, you'll be a great help to my research. That said, I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. <laughs> that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. I beg your pardon. I'm from the Yobo Life TV. I'd like to, you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. A fashion case. Weird. Okay. But weird. Contain within that fashion case, you will find this whole spectrum of uh, chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Just let your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. Oh, and right now the TV station is offering facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too, so please did visit our TV station. Weird. Well, I've just met a band of green-haired freaks and a fat guy. Okay. Oh, now I met her. Weak booking training. Do you want to have a go? Oh, you called me weak? I'll beat your butt now. A shinx. You serious? My ever can't do even a tackle and it's still higher level than you. Beer. Ooh. I'm just gonna use mock punch. And the shinx is dead. Ding dong, the shinx is dead. Which old shinx? The shinx is shinx. Swing dong, the ding 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 is dead. Or the shinx is shinx. Dang it. Another Pokemon battle. A magic cart. Pretty sure even Abra could defeat this one. I'm going to mock punch it. I said, like, mock punch. Come on, it gave us a total of 32 point, uh, experience. That's how pathetic it is. Okay, run through this so I don't get challenged by anyone, including you. Oh, well, that was a stupid move. Oh, well, I just got news that I have to go because I'm running out of time. So if you like this video, and if you want to find out how this battle ends, rate this video 5 star, add it to your favorite, and subscribe to CrunchFight11. 
this is uh, this is as I said before, Crunch Battle Evans signing off.